Our busy I'm so sorry. <laughs> if someone would like to wake me up and tell me that this is all a dream, that would be great. to turn the camera on because I care a lot about being extremely real with this whole situation. The room is beautiful, like the bed is so nice. I have my retainers in. <laughs> I need to take these out. I can't talk and take myself seriously. <laughs> uh. There's literally no window in this hotel. It's all like large glass panels that cannot be cracked open at all. I am claustrophobic. I don't think I have like a severe case of claustrophobia. Like I'm, I definitely am claustrophobic. And when I found out that there was no window, the intensity of this just went out the roof. I literally feel like I can't fully breathe in. I feel like every time I breathe in, I can't get like that full. I'm thinking of calling down to the desk and ask if there's like a fan or something that I could have in the room just to feel like there's like air circulating. But if anybody else, else is like this, like I don't mind talking to people on the phone. I don't like making calls. Nobody, I think, like, loves to talk to strangers on the phone. They don't get, like, fulfillment out of that. But I don't mind it. I just don't like to be a bother to people or bothersome. It's just difficult for me to call. Because I feel like there's nothing that they can do. I feel like such an idiot for feeling this way. And it's four in the morning. Hi, um, I'm so sorry to bother you. I don't know if you know the meaning for claustrophobia. I already quarantined one time before at a different hotel and I opened up the window um, to help because like I could, you know, get fresh air, but I think I'm just, oh yeah, I'm just kind of, um, it's hard to breathe a little and I feel stupid <laughs> for calling, but. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's just because I just realized, like just now I went to, um, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I promise I'm okay. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just having a moment, but yeah, I'm, I'm okay. You're so nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. I pro you're so kind. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. She was so nice. <laughs> she was so nice. Part of the reason I was crying is because she's so, she was so kind. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be completely fine. It really is. She could not have been any nicer. <laughs> and her English was really good. <gasps> Did what you said and i'm looking outside and um i'm breathing and drinking water <laughs> yeah it's a uh do not do not worry um it, i know it is very early and so if it's not until later i will i'll be okay i'm praying and um yeah so uh, i wish i could hug you <laughs> thank you so much bye bye door's not locked i could technically walk outside and infest everybody with covid at any point. I would never do that. I'm just saying, it's an option. This isn't very much not what I was anticipating at all. <sighs> Things kind of get any crazier. Hi. Suddenly I feel very sick and I have a fever of 
38.6. Yeah, I have like chills. When did it start? Probably like three hours ago. Okay, then I will rest on our medical team and uh, could you wait in for a second? Yeah, that's okay. If someone would like to wake me up and tell me that this is all a dream, that would be great. I just slept for 12 hours. <laughs> I can't believe we're only on day two and all of this has happened. <sighs> Honestly, I probably slept for almost a day because I woke up, felt like crap, and anytime I felt like crap, I would just like force myself to eat a little bit and then I would just go back to sleep, eat something, take the medicine, and then just go back to sleep. And I did that on repeat yesterday. Breakfast is here. I said I was vegetarian. And it said normal vegetarian, but then on the side it said fish. So I'm thinking vegetarians don't eat meat, right? Uh, is coffee film? Because then I got a fish for breakfast. And then I called and I was like, I don't eat fish. And then yesterday I could have sworn I got chicken. But I'm kind of like, well, I'm not a vegetarian, so I'm not going to make like a fuss about it. But today looks like there's no meat. Yeah, it just looks like tofu, mushrooms. And then here we've got like spinach, beans potato and cucumber some vegetable rice milk and a yogurt it's just really hard because in my mind i was definitely thinking about the food that i got last time and like preparing myself to be consuming a lot of fruit and this actually it maybe doesn't look the prettiest but it tastes often really really good it's just hard because i had this expectation of like let me bring all this like junk food and then i'll eat really healthy for like the meals obviously this is more healthy than like only eating tonkatsu which is the like fried pork cutlet i don't know it's good mm. well that woke me right up she's delicious but you know what this could use if you've seen my other vlogs what do you think i'm about to go get what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Boom. Ba -na -na. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, the pot came. Are you surprised? This was the best purchase I'd ever made in my entire life last quarantine. And it still is. So let's turn this baby on. It really just doesn't look very good. It's not my favorite. I'm really not eating much of like any of these meals. It's probably because I don't feel well. Yeah, Megan, you're still freaking sick. Today has been a mess. Don't put milk in the kettle. Well, at least this kettle at the high because that thing gets hot in like 0.5 seconds. It burnt it to the bottom of the kettle. So I've been scrubbing to get that off. Whoa. Here at the Hyatt, I feel like the food is very Korean and just very strong smells. So when I open the bag, it's just like all of the smells have marinated together and I open the bag and it just like smacks me upside the head. We're gonna try round two of making my matcha drink because round one went. That's crazy. It's gonna be in my nightmares. We're gonna boil the water and add the milk to it. It's, there's milk literally all over the phone. <laughs> Look at all Y'all, when I say this has been a mess, I'm just gonna sit back and try to relax and enjoy this meal. Meal drink, oh. It's only day two and I've already lost my mind this much. <laughs> I've basically slept for 36 hours. And so I just woke up at 3 a.m. and I'm very awake, but I don't have a fever anymore. I feel kind of nauseous, but like still have my sense of taste and smell and all that jazz. So I think if I had 
you know, they would have come told me or like taken me somewhere because I took a test like the day before I was sick. So I guess I just caught some like flu bug or something. There were so many sick people everywhere just coughing. The kid in front of me was sick. The guy that was behind me in customs was sick. The guy that was on the same bus as me was sick. The guy that decided to get up and walk around and take his mask off to cough was definitely sick. You know what I mean? It's just like, it was just bound to happen. Look at these aesthetics. Freaking airplane in the sun. I've never seen a sunrise like this. It is significantly lonelier in this location because there's no announcements. They just bring the food, drop it off. They don't announce that it's there. They don't come take midday temperature checks like they did at the Marina Bay. You really just up in here by yourself. 24-7. I'm like about to call down the front desk and just say, oh, how you doing? Having a good day? Just to hear another human voice. And now Megan will begin a scientific analysis of the not-so-vegetarian cuisine offered here in prison. I mean quarantine. I truly have not been hungry the past few days just because I've been sick, but this, like, egg. I mean, I don't know what a lot of it is, but the star of the show right now is this nanner because I have been wanting a banana. So but I've just been wanting fruit. That's all I've been wanting. I'm so excited to eat. I'm starving right now. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it is. It is. I thought it was a baby egg roll. It is. Okay, I gotta put that in the pot. I'm so happy. It is very convenient that they have a 110 volt plug here because then I'll have to worry about converters. And I'm also all about the fact that they give us milk, especially because this is soy milk. I think this is like pasta. I really don't know. I don't know what you are. These, <clears throat> these may have solidified to the roof of my mouth, but they're fire. Also fire, mystery concoction. Also fire after putting it in the pot because she is cold. Very unexpected. I'm very much, we are here for it. Here for it. Like, it might look whack, but I bet it tastes bomb. It freaking does. What? How? This has banana in it. Banana next to kimchi, pickled radish, and japchae. We threw some banana. I disagree, but yeah, I just disagree. I disagree. I can already smell it. Pro tip, I literally have been holding my breath when I open up these now because the things inside are good separately. But when you like put them in a crock pot and let it marinate together, the smell is not my favorite. So I started holding my breath as I opened the bag. We put everything on the table and then we address. Okay. This is the guy that smells the worst because these are four different smells hugging each other close together. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting vegetarian because <laughs> that's as chickeny as it gets. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Idea, I'm going to cook some of my ramen noodles and put that on top. You guys, I don't even know what it tastes like, but I'm very excited. Yes. Yes. This is why the pot is the best, is because it gives you the opportunity to be creative. We are so freaking here for it. The nose did go up pretty dang high. I realized I never gave you guys like a room tour. I quite literally have no idea what I'm supposed to do. That was horrible.